Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Just need to get your blood pressure. Can you roll your sleeve up for me? Yeah. Great. How are you doing today? Oh, pretty good. Always busy this time of year, but keeping up. How are you? Doing great. All right, your blood pressure is 125 over 80. That's good, right? Yes. Good. I've always been really healthy. Well, not always. It looks like you got a letter about your A1C, and you haven't been taking very good care of your diabetes. My what? Your A1C. It measures the amount of sugar that's been on your hemoglobin in the last three months to determine how well you've been controlling your blood sugar. Oh, yeah. I got that letter, but I didn't really know what it meant. And I never really pay attention to my diabetes because I feel fine. How bad is it? Well, let's see. Today it was 8.7, and three months ago it was 8.1. So normal is less than 6. You're way out of control. Well, like I said, I've been really busy this month. Well, your health is something you have to make time for. Have you at least been taking your diabetic medications? Not really. I'd rather use diet and exercise. Well, it looks like that's not really adequate. So you need to be taking your medication. Diet and exercise sometimes just aren't enough. Your chart says that you've been prescribed metformin, which is a long-lasting medicine that will keep your blood sugar under control all day. I think it would be more effective than just diet and exercise. Are you testing your blood sugar? Um, yeah, sometimes. Okay, how often? Oh, once every few weeks. But I feel fine, so I don't think it's that bad. Well, remember, your A1C was high, like I said earlier. And that's a much better indicator than how you feel. So, um, it showed that you were out of control. If you don't start making changes, you could permanently damage your eyesight, blood vessels, even have to have a foot or leg amputated. Oh, well, I would definitely do something before it got that bad. But I'm not interested in taking those medications. I'll try to eat better or something. I don't think you realize how serious your disease is. I don't see how I can be so sick if I feel fine. I don't want to take medications. Just because you feel fine doesn't mean you're healthy. Having diabetes affects you more than you realize, and some people feel fine when they have a big ulcer on their foot. Well, I remember my doctor telling me something about the symptoms of high blood sugar, like feeling shaky or tired, but I never feel shaky and tired. Well, those are symptoms of high blood sugar, but you can have the high blood sugar without those symptoms. That's the whole reason for doing an A1C, to determine if your blood sugar has been out of control, and your A1C showed your blood sugar has been out of control. I get what you're saying, but I feel fine, and I don't want to take something that's not going to make me feel any better. I mean, what if it makes me worse? When my grandfather was on heart medications, the levels got so high that he almost had a heart attack. Heart medications and diabetic medications are very different. You can't generalize the experience your grandfather had to this medication. They're completely different. Will you at least try get, taking your medications? I don't know. I'll think about it. All right. Well, we'll see you in a few months then.